Hey, everybody, welcome to episode three, and we are continuing our series on credit and credit scoring. And the big question of the day is, is there only one credit score for each person? And I know for me, my credit card company is always updating me. Here's your credit score. But that's the only number that I know. What do you have to say about that, Bruce? All right. So huge misconception when I'm teaching my class. We go into this in detail and probably 95% of the people come away learning a significant amount of information about this very, um, very small and specific part of your credit score. And that is this. There is not one credit score. There is not one bureau. Most people know that. And there is not one credit scoring model. Most people don't even understand what a credit scoring model is. So that's what we're going to talk about because there's not one credit score. So let's start first with the, the, the definition technically, as they say, they call themselves repositories because they're repositories of data. TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, we just refer to, refer to them as the credit bureaus. Most people have heard of those three um, bureaus. But the very definite no-no is there is not one credit score. There's not one TransUnion credit score. There's not one Equifax credit score. And it's important to understand that be, and how they're determining that because there is not one model. There are models that are developed by each one of those repositories that are sold to different industries, very specific industries. Like for instance, you mentioned your credit card company. There is one that is sold specifically to the credit card industry. The credit, credit card industry said, here is the data that I want from you, Mr. You know, TransUnion, Equifax or Experian in order to help me make a decision of whether I should give Bruce or Donna a credit card. And so then the credit scoring bureaus go out there and pull that data together and send it over to you know, the chases of the world or the discovers of the world and say, here's Bruce's credit score. And you just need to understand though, that it's for a very specific industry. There's one that's for the credit card industry. There's one that is for the student loan industry. There's one for the car company industry. There's one for collection companies. The collection companies don't want to pay much money, so they even use less data. They just want to see if you're delinquent on a bunch of stuff. And if you are, then they know they're going to have trouble collecting. And typically, most of those industries are only looking at one credit bureau. And they don't always tell you. Like TransUnion, I think, pulls um, uh, TransUnion, or they used to. Um, but they don't necessarily tell you that. The mortgage industry, however, is a little different. We, as you can imagine, we lend largest sums of money sure. over the longest periods of time. And so therefore we have the most stringent guidelines. We're looking for every piece of data that's out there about a consumer in order to make sure that we're not gonna get burned on lending large sums of money. And, and second, we look at all three bureaus, not just one. So if you go for a car loan and they pull TransUnion and TransUnion happens to be your best score, you've got a better opportunity of getting that car loan or the best interest rate on that car loan. But if TransUnion happens to be your worst credit score, you're going to get a worse interest rate where they may deny you for that credit, that um, car loan because you don't meet their standard. The mortgage industry, you can't hide from anybody because we're going to look at all three. Everything that's out there, we're going to take a look at. So what I tell people is, well, I'll just say this, the last area, and we probably should go ahead and do a, another episode just on this one topic, and that's this. Credit karma is not a source of credit scores. You didn't see me mention that when I said rep the repositories of TransUnion Equifax Experian. They are the least, by far, the least accurate. They can be outdated by as much as 90 or 120 days. And the data that they buy to put in their credit score is not always accurate. So if someone talks to me in the mortgage world and I say, you, you say you have a 680 credit score, where did you get that data from? If they tell me they got it from trans, from, from um, um, Discover, then I know what model they're working at. And I know what bureau they're talking about. And I can explain that. If they say they got it from Credit Karma, we have a completely different topic. Um, so here's the one thing I will say. I'm going to say this, and it's my opinion and my opinion only. There 
motives behind giving you a free credit report is not what you think. Maybe we'll talk about it at detail later. Nothing is nothing that is free is worth what you pay for it, even if you pay nothing. And nothing is free. Sounds like I just went full circle, which I did, and that was intentional. So anybody that wants to talk to me about the details of why I don't trust Credit Karma, I'd be happy to do that. Or maybe we'll do another episode just about Credit Karma. Um, but in, in closing, what I tell people is I want your credit score to be good in the mortgage industry model. Because if it's good in the mortgage industry model, I know it will be good in the car loan industry. And I know it will be good in the credit card industry. And I know it will be good if you're looking for student loans, but it's not always flowing back the other way. You could have an okay score in the credit card model, but not in the mortgage model. So it's important to understand the difference. Set your goal and your sights on having good credit in the mortgage model. And if you do, you're guaranteeing that you'll have good credit in the other models as well. I know we're longer than we planned, but one, hopefully a quick answer uh, to a question. In the mortgage industry with the three different credit scores, do you guys focus on the highest score, the lowest score, median, or do you like average them out? How do you do that? The middle of the three. So the credit score the 700, okay. 800, and 600, we're using 700. Okay. Awesome. All right. We'll have more great stuff for you guys next week. And thank you for joining us. Have a good day.